my show. So welcome to the next video on this mathematics for uh, machine learning. In this video, we are trying to multiply a, a vector with a scalar. Take the same two-dimensional uh, space for, for, for this idea. So let me draw a quick vector. So let's say um, <clears throat> so um, something like this, okay, and and this vector can be let's say it's a. So this vector can be represented with a, 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 a two comma three, as we have done in the previous. So if you want to multiply with a scalar. We can do this, and let's say a scalar is some value uh, given with yes. Okay, so let the s be two. Then my my uh, multiplication will result in basically four two by two into three into two is equal to four by three. You might be wondering why I'm specifically putting it on the right side. Why can't I multiply a scalar with a vector? Well, that's not conventionally, though it makes it, it looks pretty similar, but conventionally it doesn't make uh, it, it's not correct because if you remember your matrix uh, properties, matrix multiplication properties, matrix is coming next in, in the series. We discuss a lot about matrix, but just to, uh, to, to quickly tell you so if you have, uh, you know, a matrix of 3 cross 2 and 2 cross uh, 4. Uh, if you multiply this matrix, one of the conditions we are looking at is the number of columns should be same. Of, number of columns of the first matrix should be same as number of rows of the second matrix and the resultant matrix will be actually 3 and 4. All right. So otherwise, if the number of rows of the first, uh, number of columns of the first matrix is not equal to number of uh, rows in the second matrix, then the matrix multiplication is not possible. All right. So in a similar manner, if you look at this, a scalar can be represented as one plus one because just as one row and one column is nothing but a, a scalar. So if if, if I say uh, a vector which is a column matrix over here, okay, two by three, which is actually two cross one, and uh, one cross one is your let's say it's Two is what you have taken, one cross one, and the resultant would be two cross one, and this is possible. The otherwise is not possible. Well, you can argue that a uh, vector can be also written as a row ma row matrix, and, and in that case, well, then it makes sense to say a scalar into a vector. But uh, the standard convention for uh, vector notation is a column matrix, like as you can see here, and this is always possible. By doing this, what you are trying to achieve, what what happens actually is this is actually scaled up so you can see the four three so if you try to draw a, a line now that will be four units on the x-axis all right and the okay so it has to be six my apologies four units on the okay so this is six okay this is six so essentially the direction is not changed, it is the magnitude which is changed, which makes very good sense because scalar does not have a direction and you multiply a vector with the scalar, the vector direction remains unchanged, but the magnitude, the, the, the size of the vector, the length of the vector increases as per the, 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 the multiplication value of the scalar. Okay, and, and that's it. In the next video, we look into matrix matrix and matrix related operations.